Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic, rough order of magnitude. Friend, this topic uh, is very important and uh, we will see this topic with respect to project management, uh, PMI or PMBOK, project management body of knowledge and uh, Rita Mokhai book, uh, PMP exam preparation. So friend, this topic we will see with respect to project management and uh, this topic is easy to understand and uh, friend if you are studying project management in university or you are planning to give exam of uh, PMP so friend this topic is very important with respect to exam point of view and you must see this topic in exam at least uh, four to five questions you will definitely see with in the exam which are directly related to the concept of rough order of magnitude uh, friend, uh, this topic pertains to project management and uh, you can say it is basically it is related to estimation. Uh, friend, uh, if you are already a project manager and working in any organization as a pro professional project manager, so friend, this topic is again very important for you to understand because as a project manager, you have to, you have to planning, you have to do the planning and you know the planning is based on estimates. Uh, so friend, this topic is very very important and uh, the purpose of making this video is that i just want to make a very simple very simple and easy to understand video or uh, concept so that everyone can understand the topic in a very easy to understand manner i i will try my level best to explain you the concept in a very easy manner so that uh, you can if you are a student so it can be helpful for you in the exam or if you are a professional project manager and implementing projects so again this topic can be very helpful for you to implement the concept of rough order of magnitude in the professional or practical life so friend if you like this video please uh, i will request to please share it with other people as well so that it can be helpful for other people as well so friend uh, uh, first of all i would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start what is rough order of magnitude just see these three terms rough order of magnitude friend rough order of magnitude in project management it is a concept to estimate the things uh, what is estimate friend for example not going into the detail just see uh, i will try I, I want to just give you a very simple example see if you are uh, building a house and you ask from a constructor that how much time is needed to build the house and how much cost is required to build the house these are the two very basic questions which you will definitely ask from the constructor if you are building a house and for example let's assume that he will ask he will inform you that for example five months are required and for example fifty thousand dollar is the cost required let's assume so the time and cost which he is telling you this is the estimate this is not necessary this is not necessary that the house will definitely be built in the five months and with the cost of fifty thousand there might be a chances that house will build in uh, ten months with the seventy thousand dollar cost there might be a chance there might be a chance as well that house may be built in four months with the forty thousand dollar cost so what is the the cost which he is telling you basically it's a estimate it is the estimate so that you can get the idea that how much time is required and how much cost is required there might be a chances there might be a chances that maybe his estimate is uh, to some extent it's accurate but there may might be chances that there are some deviations may occur in the actual case so friend the estimates basically give you an idea with respect to uh, the time and cost and you can do the actions and you can do the planning accordingly and also you can do the tracking as well when the execution in actual starts here friend rough order of magnitude friend rough order of magnitude is a uh, uh, is a estimation technique which we use at the very uh, starting of a project at the time when we are starting a project uh, we use this technique as called as rough order of magnitude 
if you just see the uh, these three terms rough order of measure rough rough means that there might be a chances of error there might be some deficiency in accuracy okay so that is why it is called as rough order of magnitude why we use it friend basically when we are uh, selecting a project when we are implementing a project we need some estimates because based on the estimates in terms of time and cost we can take some decisions we use this technique at the very early stage of a project uh, for example when contract signing is deciding or agreement is signing so at that moment of time normally this type of estimation used why it is used because uh, see the uh, the decision makers or like the senior management can take a decision that either they have to move forward for this project or not okay for example if you are signing a contract and uh, rough order magnitude is that you may involve some ex uh, technology experts I mean some uh, domain experts and they can give you an estimate for example that this project uh, for example you are starting a project of e-commerce solution and uh, the at the time of contract signing you may ask that how much time is needed and how much cost is required so uh, by involving the domain experts they can give you an idea that for example uh, five months are required and with the ten thousand dollar cost this project can be completed for example just an idea just an idea not necessary so this is a rough order magnitude a rough order magnitude means that it is a very rough estimate and this estimate remember one thing that it is not the case that anyone can uh, get into the meeting room and uh, give you the estimate this is not the case the person who is domain expert he will give you an idea he will uh, tell you that uh, he will tell you he will tell you that uh, these these are the and these are the estimates there might be chances that uh, these accuracy uh, there are there may might be some deficiency in the accuracy of estimates as well so friend based on that uh, estimates uh, the decision makers like senior management can, can take a decision that either they have to move forward for this project or not one more very important thing is that there might be a very high chances there might be a chances that uh, this this estimate can be uh, wrong or there there might be some uh, chances that there are some inaccuracy as well uh, the factor of inaccuracy is about minus 50 to 50 minus 50 percent to plus 50 percent like around 50 percentage there are chances that plus minus it has happened for example if you are for example if at the time of contract signing someone uh, the technical expert team is telling you that five months is required or with a ten thousand dollar cost the e-commerce solution needs so if we apply the rough order magnitude that means that there are minus 50 to plus 50 chances like for example it may happen that it may complete in for example seven months or it may be completed in for example in two to three months as well so there are chances of inaccuracy so that is why it is called as a rough order magnitude uh, friend uh, so if there are many chances that minus 50 to plus 50 range or a variance can occur from minus 25 to plus 75 percent as well just remember one thing uh, either it's a variance is minus 50 to plus 50 or minus 25 percent to 75 percent just remember one thing that uh, the rough order magnitude is not a very accurate way to estimate the things however however it is a way that it can give an idea to to the to the management that they can take decision about the project and it is necessary friend it, uh, rough order magnitude it is a ballpark estimate used to provide a starting estimate to move forward then it is a top-down estimation approach use of previous uh, expert knowledge and experience not a great deal of time is spent to develop the raw estimates see friend uh, it is first of all it is a ball ballpark value ballpark value means that friend it is just give you an idea that for example this is the time required this is the cost required there might be a uh, like for example it is or uh, it is everyone knows that minus 50 to plus 50 chances of error or minus 25 percent to 75 percent variance may occur in the estimate it is a top-down approach top-down approach means friend that 
first of all you take the higher things and then it it will drill down to to more level we have to uh, divide the work to further level to estimate the things then next thing is that the uh, the estimates which you are getting friend remember one thing that it is never the case that the estimates are given by some uh, any other person the estimates always given by the domain experts the person the technical team the the persons who knows the domain knowledge they understand uh, the expertise they have the expertise so based on their expertise or previous knowledge or previous experience history knowledge so based on that they can give you an idea about the cost and estimate there is there might there never be a case that uh, any person who has no experience he can give you the estimate this is not the case the domain experts uh, will give you an estimate then next thing is that uh, basically it's uh, it doesn't require lots of time it's uh, always not a great deal of time to spend so uh, that's why rom is more uh, feasible at the case when we are starting a project so friend i hope uh, you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you